Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be, we will be proving that a group of even order must have an element of order too. Now, the only information that we have with us is that the group has order which is even. Correct. So it contains even number of elements within it. Now we already know that it contains an identity element that is the requirement whenever we have a group, right? Essential requirement. So uh, among this, the, the, these even number of elements, one element we have with us is the identity element. So how many elements are left with us? We have an odd number of elements left with us. Suppose uh, we had e number of elements present within us. Now we have e minus one number of elements. Now because this was even, this would be odd, correct? This number would be odd. Now, there is also one other, another observation which states that all the other elements which are having odd order, they come in pairs, correct? All the other elements which are having odd order, they come in pairs, correct? So, why and how this thing is there? You can see this whenever you have uh, the order as 3, which is odd order correct so you have x cube is equal to e what does it mean it means that the order of x is 3 now i also say the order of x cube inverse right that is also 3 so it could be written like this x inverse raised to power 3 it could be written like this s uh, x raised to power 3 raised to power minus 1 it is e raised to power minus 1 which is e correct so therefore in this case we have the order of x as well as x cube both as equal to 3 which is the odd order and moreover we do uh, we have both of them x and x inverse as different elements right they do not match because if they do uh, if uh, they would be matching with each other at some instant say then what would happen we can uh, pre-multiply both sides with x so that it becomes e so you have x x is equal to e so that you have x square is equal to e now x square is equal to e would give you the order of x as equal to 2 and not equal to 3 right however we assumed in the very starting that the order of x is 3 so this thing is not possible hence all both of them has to be distinct hence uh, this uh, element x having odd order that come in pair one is the element itself another one its inverse correct so all the elements having odd order they come in pair so how many such elements are there they are even number of such elements whichever uh, how uh, number uh, is there uh, they are even correct if they are even number of elements and one element we have is the identity element so how many elements are left so these would be odd number of elements in total if we have odd number of elements so we are again left with an odd number of elements in order for this to become the even order so we are left with an odd number of elements of g having even order so that means we can at least have one element which is having even order let's call that order to be 2m correct so that means we are taking some element a which is having order 2m it means that a raised to power 2m is equal to e so what does it mean it means that a raised to power m square is e so it means that the order of a raised to power m is equal to 2 so that means we found some element which is a raised to power m such that its order is 2 hence we say a group which is having even order must have it at least one element which is having order 2 and this is what we wanted to prove here now this is just a, a theoretical kind of question right nothing much to solve here in this question so i hope you understood the gist of this question well that is it for this video thank you for watching